My name is Alex Burns. I have autism, I have Tourette syndrome, I'm a college student and a proud Special Olympics athlete and member of the 2017 Global Messengers class, a leadership program for athletes who serve as community leaders through stories of hope, acceptance, dignity, and courage around the world. Our core values are respect, inclusion, and unity. Our vision is to inspire an inclusion revolution in every neighborhood and every school. Community engagement was drilled into me from an early age. I grew up in a newspaper office, regularly covered in ink and smelling of coffee, and knew little else. The son of a journalist and the grandson of a newspaper publisher, I knew the importance of community. Read the news, understand the issues, vote, my parents would remind me daily. Having a disability made community involvement necessary. If I wanted equal rights, I would have to get in the game and fight for it. A call for action would eventually find me in the most public way. In my senior year of high school, the Lyon County Board of Supervisors was considering a housing development that would expand affordable housing for individuals with disabilities. Lyon County is considered a progressive and cultured place, and may way it is, but it has failed to plan for a growing disabled population. Affordable housing is not only needed for those with disabilities. Firefighters, police, teachers, and other essential personnel often struggle to meet the cost of living in the Lyon community that they serve. I remember the night I went before the county board in support of this new affordable housing community. The plan was to renovate the old Arcola Elementary School. I mean, I got no brainer. I had never before spoken in public. I swear, the longest two minutes of my life. <laughs> my speech recognized the contributions of residents with disabilities and the diversity we might lose if a housing solution was not approved. So, I get to the end of my speech, then comes a pregnant pause that felt like forever. And then, boom, a standing ovation. I'm like, definitely nailed it. But, the affordable housing development did not pass. Out of nine votes, I didn't get a vote. Not a single one. I'm like, what? Oh my gosh, I had failed. But the next day, I realized, hey, this is not over. It's just the beginning. This can't be about one issue. I became more determined than ever to create change for people with disabilities and I would start with my own community. I might have lost the battle, but we would win the war. So what's the takeaway? I sometimes wonder about that night and what would have happened had my issue passed. Someone famous somewhere in some moment of incredible clarity once said, I'm thankful for my struggle because without it, I wouldn't have stumbled across my strength. How true that is. My work with the disability community was fueled by that feeling. It has taught me to never give up. It has taught me that people will triumph over just about anything given the chance. Making an impact doesn't require a public speech. Friendly words in the hallways or at the football game to those who may be different than yourself is a great start or take the next step and volunteer for Special Olympics as a coach, fundraiser, or a member of the unified basketball team here at Riverside. And that brings me to Mr. Weir, who made today possible. Thank you, and to my mentor, Coach Joy, who, served, who has served as a volunteer for Special Olympics for over two decades to advocate for inclusion of individuals intellectual disabilities. Thank you.